In Arc Linux, we do a lot of things behind the scenes. We call them the hidden gems. And one of the things I just um, changed is an application or an, this Wellia package that we install on the Wayland guys. And that's called Arc Linux Wayland App Hooks Git. It's a way to make things work, right? Wayland is a challenge for everybody and not all applications will work on a Wayland system. So GitHub, GitHub, in, if you watch previous video in the numbering, you'll see that GitHub does not open, but it does, right? It does. It's just a matter of how you launch it. And if we use user share applications, then it actually launches. It's the right mouse click that didn't work in Thunar. So because of that, um, I also added GitHub. So GitHub is an application that is the well a fork from git ahead and hopefully it will be uh, maintained over the coming 10 years or so the thing is this hidden gem Arclix Wayland apps hook does the following thing if we do sudo pacman minus s git up git or git up depends right if you install it it does this pacman hook for Wayland desktop file so if you have files where you say, Eric, it's not working on Wayland. What we can do, and it's the only thing we can do, is, well, yeah, first of all, go to the GitHub of the developer and say, wouldn't it be nice we could have this on Wayland, right? And then he is up for the task. What we can do as an end user is add something before um, the execution line. So exec line in the dot desktop files in user share let's go there in user share applications that's where everything is is put right if it's not snap it's here so in here is information and you can open this you can say i'm gonna edit this right mouse click open with sublime text and we've added instead of the git hat execute me git hat we add execute user bin environment utqp a platform xcb or something else. So that's what we do. We add X11 or we add XCB and then suddenly everything works again. So it's an, a Pac-Man hook. So if you install or uh, update things, what it will do is say, oh, it's package giddy up in this case that I've um, added to the list. It's somewhere in com or something. I know it's a up here somewhere, giddy up, here he is. So this one, also profits from the Pac-Man hook. GitHub will not work, but it will work if we add this in front of it. So we are on Wayland, submit packages to change automatically on Wayland. So what we do is we add this package as a default on Hyperland and on Wayfire. And we add, if you install, right? If you install GitHub, if you install others, we just go and change this file and that particular line and everything starts up so if you want to know what we've been changing until now we have to go to user local 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 binary and in here somewhere is a script that is harvesting <laughs> is keeping everything that we want to change this one article links wayland apps so here we're gonna say if we are on hyperland and if we're on wayfire and if we're in sway right if yes true then we're on wayland and then you see this message submit packages to change automatically octopi won't work but if we add this it works octopi cache cleaner is he still there i don't know octopi notifier that's gone so we can delete this but nothing will be changed because you have don't have it so you can't change them so here's git ahead here's git up and if there is more we can add more to it basically we say go change go find this then change it into this and find replace there and that's it right so this is the new line these four or five lines have been six lines have been added right so that giddy up also launches so let's launch that super d giddy up enter and there you go 
Long story short, but Wayland is not perfect. It's not 100% working for all our apps that we use. There are some workarounds and we can add your particular app that you want to the list, like I've just done for GitHub, and then it works again. Cheers.